Hi, I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters, and we're going to show you how to etch wine glasses. We love etching glass. It's so easy, and the results look super professional. We're going to show you everything you need to know from how to mask off your design using ordinary stickers. We're going to show you what kind of etch cream to use. We're going to show you how to apply it, and we'll share some tips for removing fingerprints. With this technique, you can etch any kind of glasses any way you like. You can etch somebody's name or a fun phrase, or you can just stick with some pretty designs. Let's get started. For tools and materials, you'll need wine glasses, and we're using clear wine glasses. To etch the glasses, we're using Etch Cream. This, this particular brand is Armor Etch, and it chemically etches the glass. Mm -hmm. So because it's chemical, we've got protective gloves, and we're gonna apply the etch cream with a paintbrush. For the design, we're using stickers. And the most important thing when you're picking out your stickers is to make sure that they're cut the way you want the design to be. And what I mean by that is they're not a snowflake that's printed on a circle. If you put that on here, you're just gonna etch a circle because it's not gonna etch the image, it's gonna etch the shape. One thing you can do is look at the back of the stickers or hold it up to the light and see what the actual cut is. So what you want is die cut stickers in the shapes you want to use. And then you'll also need masking tape. We washed and dried our wine glasses and now we're ready to do our design. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little piece of masking tape at the top of the stem because we're only gonna etch from this area up. And so I'm just gonna put a piece straight around here. Okay. It's nice to mask off the, the bottom part yes. so that you have a nice little tidy line. So I just want to make that match up here. Almost. Almost. Very close. You can just I'm use gonna another put a little piece. extra piece yeah. on top of that. That's a good idea. And you could mask the whole bottom, but you don't really need to. You just paint the edge cream from this line up. Perfect. There we go. Now we're ready to do the design with the stickers. And for our design, we picked out the stickers that we told you about. And what we want to do is place the stickers so they're kind of crawling up the sides yes. of the glass. So we're going to put like the tendrils coming up and spiraling. There you go. That's beautiful. I'm just going to stick that one right here. And the most important thing is to make sure it's really pressed down. So even though I'm getting fingerprints on the glass, it's okay because the important thing is that these are pressed down. Yeah. After we have all the stickers on, we're going to go back in with some rubbing alcohol and Q-tip and just make sure we clean up any fingerprints. That looks great. Before we etch. Yes. Okay. How about another big one and then we can fill in a little yes. bit. So I'm just rotating and then put another Whoops. This one, we do. It looks like that. Did that tear off? No, that no, was that's a separate, separate one. Oh, I think. Good. I'll save that one. We'll do that one we'll next. We'll do that one. Yeah. So this one, I'm setting the spiral kind of in that area. You want to kind of um, fill in any big wide gaps on your glasses because you don't want yes. big expanses of etched areas because the brushes, brush marks can show in the etch cream. Yeah, so keeping it pretty small in between the stickers. Do you want to put that one here? Oh yeah, it's kind of, is it too small or is it good? No, it's kind of fun right here. Oh, great. Yeah. You want to grab one off the other? Yes, I think this is a real beauty. Oh, I love that. Right here. These stickers tear easily, so it's yeah, a good idea to be careful. Trying to be a little them. bit careful. That's great. So this one's gorgeous. Love it. And that fits right into that space there. Oh, that's perfect. I might have to turn it slightly so that it doesn't touch here. Yeah, there you go. And each one of our wine glasses is going to look a little bit different because we're we're not going to make them exactly the same. Yeah. The stickers are all going to be different. They'll all go together. Yeah. And then we're just going to keep picking out tendrils and spirals and arranging them on the glass like this until we've got the whole glass has a design. You can kind of see when you look through the glass, mm -hmm. this is what it's going to look like when it's etched, just the reverse of that. And then we'll clean it up with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and we'll be ready to etch. We cleaned the fingerprints off of our glass with a Q-tip and just a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and now we're ready to etch. So we've got our gloves on, and that's important because this is chemical, yes. and we've got our etch cream open, and, and our a timer. timer is set for one minute. One minute. That's how long the etch cream is going to be on the glass. I wouldn't worry too much about it, yeah. but it does mean it's not a 10-minute process. You're going to get it on and then wash it off. 
And now etching with this etch cream is as easy as slopping it on with a paintbrush. And you want it to be pretty thick and you want to work pretty quickly because it's starting to etch already yes. and you need to cover the whole glass. But I don't want it to drip onto the inside there. Yes. At the top part, you can kind of do brush strokes this yeah. way. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then just glomp it all on and there. Just glomp it on. And the idea is to get enough on there that you kind of can't see the design anymore. Yeah. And it's pretty viscous, so it tends to stay. Like she's on rotating it, well. but it's not yeah. it's not dripping off or anything like that. Right. And I'm going right up to where my tape is. Yes. I'm just going to keep going all the way around my glass. And this really is a chemical etch. You could do a project like this where you spray it with like frosted spray paint that looks like etching. Mm -hmm. That would be fine too. But this is actually going to be an etched glass. It'll have the texture of yeah. an etched glass. It's really cool. Super fun. Uh, we really like how transformative it is. You've really changed the wine glass. It really is. And you can get wine glasses at the dollar store. Yes. <laughs> so this could be a really inexpensive project. Yeah. And we've used the etch cream on windows. We've oh, yeah. made a hanging window for out in the garden using the etch cream. We've done vases. Oh, yeah. That was really pretty. Great. And jars. You can etch all kinds of things that are glass. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the timer. Okay, it's, some of great. it's already been on there yes. for a minute. But the stuff that's been on there, the, the last applied, we want to make sure is on for at least a minute. So yeah. I've got the timer going for that. So I'm going to leave that facing up so that when we rinse, we'll start on the other side. Oh, that's good. So the next step is when the timer goes off, we're going to take this into the kitchen and we're going to rinse it under warm water. And it's okay if some of the stickers come off at that point. Oh, yeah. And, but then we'll show you what it looks like at that point and we'll show you pulling off the stickers if any are still on there. So we just rinsed off all the etch cream off of the glass, and now we're just going to remove the stickers. They peel right off. They peel right off, and you can see that we have a nice little design. Oh, it looks so pretty. Yeah, it's still a little damp. There's some uh, water droplets there. But for this step, you're just going to go around. Peel off all those stickers. Peel off all those stickers, and then... I think we might want to hit that with a little Windex or Dawn. Yeah, we'll, we'll wash and dry them again just, with some Dawn. Yeah, just to make sure we don't have any sticker residue left on there. But you can see that it has made a nice little etching. We finished etching our wine glasses, and they look so good. I love how the swirls go up the sides. Remember, while you're working on your etch project, if you have any questions at all, you can leave us a comment, and we'll reply. We're here to help. Happy crafting. Thank you.